I'm down here. Hey. <laughs> I'm down here. I'm down here. <laughs> hey guys. Happy Thursday. We made it. We're moving on through January like it ain't nothing. How you feeling? I'm feeling like niggas and bitches still ain't shit. But we gonna keep it pushing. What we gonna, we gonna keep it pushing. I know in the coming in the coming weeks and in the past few weeks, I know you guys have been feeling it, like feeling it. I know you've been like, I didn't even know I had these emotions in me. I didn't even know I was going to see through everybody. I didn't know I was going to gain such clarity at the top of the year. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You just got, you just got to give thanks, okay? Because honestly, this is like one of the first Januaries in a few years that have truly felt like forward motion. Like the other ones, we started with a lot of retrogrades and a lot of blah, 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 blah in January. And now we have these freaking eclipses. We have all these major just like transformations. I need to do a brown sugar sunshine tarot. I know. I'm feeling I was getting mad brown sugar sunshine, bitch. You see, it just be coming to me. It just be coming to me, but I've been feeling it. And I've also been feeling like uber, uber sensitive. Like, and not a bad sensitive sensitivity. I don't think sensitivity is bad at all, but just like hyper said, like the energies, I feel them all and I want to embrace them and feel them all and I don't want to numb the feeling. I want to feel the feeling. That's why it's called feelings, not numbings. Feel that shit. Feel that shit. Feel that shit. Guys, I know it's like everybody's like, yeah, New Year, let's go. But I feel like this is really going to be the year that we've been manifesting like this is the year that we've all been wanting like look at how we started and i don't want to bring it up but you know what happened with that documentary like look at how it started shattering the foundation shattering so much of what we thought we knew about this person about just so much just about our culture and how like music and these artists were just like letting this rape culture survive and we're starting the year off canceling that shit like really like officially not like just somebody saying it here somebody saying it there and somebody feel like no we all really like oh pick a side pick a side because if you're not on the right side bye <laughs> bye like we're really making the lines thick we're not blurring the lines this year like we got the lines thick bitch like the lines is Thick, bitch. Like, the lines is thick like the dick I need. Like, that's how the lines is. No more blurred lines. No, this is what I like. I'm a black and white kind of bitch. But black lives matter. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I just went off. You know, I was feeling it. That was the intro. <laughs> that was the intro. But um, I'm about to do my flowers. You know what time it is. Time to lace the crib with flowers. Beauty. <laughs> Look at this bunch. It's beautiful. I never, I haven't gotten white flowers in super long. I've always been kind of afraid of white flowers. R.I.P. Selena. <sighs> My goodness. I need to get some serrated scissors. I need scissors that shut the 
fuck up. I knew somebody was going to talk about plants. I have plants. You could check on my story. Like, y'all are so annoying. Y'all need to stop doing that. Like, y'all in these, y'all are so corny for that. Like, so what if I want flowers? So what? You could want flowers and still have a crib laced with plants. Like, stop it. Y'all always trying to get one up on somebody. Stop it. It's disgusting. It's nasty. Let people have their moments and enjoy what they want to like. Gosh, y'all are fucking disgusting. Now let me trim my flowers in peace. I'll cut you. The fuck? Y'all need to stop doing that. Like, y'all really do need to stop doing that. Like, I don't like that culture. Like, call out real shit that's really affecting people's lives. Don't call me out about whether the fuck I got plants or flowers. Because I got both, all right? I'm enjoying my moment. You lucky I'm sharing it with y'all. Um... You know what? Of course I'm not really... Oh my gosh, this person thinks I have no plans. That's my energy. You had to get that. You had to feel that, all right? I wasn't going to conceal that for you, all right? <laughs> Take that. <laughs> I will... I. I will stop coming on live, okay, if you guys ask me what my sign is, try to ask me about my chart, I will not come back, okay, like, stop trying to figure everybody out tonight, y'all meet somebody, y'all be like, damn, what's the moon sign, what's the world sign, calculation, calculate, stop, you cannot calculate somebody, you cannot Figure it out like that. That easy. I'm sorry. You got to take time to get to know people. I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm sorry. Like, I mean, I'm not sorry, but it's like, stop. I know I do it. Like, yes, I'm obsessed with astrology, but I keep it to myself. It's my personal little zhuzh. Like, y'all are projecting it on people. Stop doing that. Like, stop. You're missing out. Like, you're missing out on experiencing someone. Like, don't rob yourself of that experience because you're just eager to just figure someone out. And let's be real. The only reason why you want to figure people out is so you can manipulate them. You just want to manipulate them. You just want to know their weaknesses. You want to you want to you want to control them. That's why it's not like you want to know people's charts to genuinely try to make their lives easier. No, you want to know to hold things against people. And it's disgusting. I don't like it. Like, I have fun with astrology. It's cool to learn about different energies. But stop projecting that shit on people. Like, all right, y'all. I want to show you my booty. So, this is the water. It's been sitting for a room temperature, a room temperature vibe. And now I'm gonna fill up. I'm going to fill up my vases as they sit there. See all the vases? They're ready and they're waiting for water. They're waiting for water. They're ready and they're waiting for water. <laughs> Y'all are so fucking petty! Ah! <laughs> oh yeah, baby, we don't drink ice water. Ice water is for crackheads, all right? Stop. I'm just loving this moment. I'm loving this moment. Like, I don't care what anyone has to say. Like, oh, you're mad. I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. 
we need to start saying sorry less. So we save our sorries for when it's really warranted and when it's really needed. Yeah, your body has to work twice as hard just to use that ice water. And I feel it. Like when you drink ice water, you don't feel like it's going where it needs to go. It feels like that shit is getting processed. <laughs> that shit is not ready. Um, I didn't have any talking points, so I guess I should just go soon. Unless you guys have something you want to ask me. too much food in that one damn gotta put a little more water in it which ones are you not on not call with what are you talking about what are y'all talking about who are the new york girls what are y'all talking Damn, so I guess my day ones don't be in here. Of course I'm going to be in more movies. <laughs> um, I don't really drink wine, babe. I'm trying to get into it, though. Maybe when I get closer to 30. <laughs> um, all right, so y'all don't got shit to talk about. All right. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. All right. I'm going to go. You guys are bored. Love ya.